563 kilometers in length and 405 meters deep is the massive Lake Superior. 113,000 people make their home at the head of this great lake. These warm and friendly people say welcome to Thunder Bay, Ontario, a city that combines natural beauty with a vibrant metropolitan lifestyle. The same time Fort William was growing in the south side, a small settlement was growing in the north. In 1884, it was named Port Arthur. The sister cities of Port William and Port Arthur grew up together for almost 100 years. Then in 1970, the cities joined together to become a brand new city, Thunder Bay. We'll use this map to help you get the most out of your visit to our fine city. While in Thunder Bay, remember that gasoline is sold by the liter and distances are in kilometers. The first thing you'll want to get familiar with are the main arteries. The Terry Fox Courage Highway, Gulf Links Road, Balmoral Street, Memorial Avenue, Fort William Road, Water Street, Cumberland Street, Potter Avenue, River Street, Red River Road, John Street, Oliver Road, the Harbour Expressway, Victoria Avenue, Arthur Street. Let's look at some of the features that make this city a great place to visit and a great place to live. On any day of the year, you can step back almost 200 years in time at Old Fort William. It's an adventure into the past, into a living historical community where costumed interpreters help you experience life as it was during the fur trade. You'll see how the Cour de Bois and the voyageurs of the Northwest Company made Fort William the largest and most important fur trading complex in North America. The cruise ship Welcome tours the harbor of Thunder Bay and gives you an overview of the city. Sit back and enjoy. The welcome ship will take you on a tour of the harbor, which is the third largest port in Canada and the largest grain handling port in the world. You can see for yourself how these huge elevators work by taking a walking tour arranged through any visitor information center. One of the centers is located near the welcome ship dock at Marina Park. Housed in the beautiful former CN station, this information center is staffed by friendly and knowledgeable travel consultants. We have plenty of free parking. They will help you get the most out of your stay and help you find the activity you're looking for. Other information centers are located on the Trans-Canada Highway at Kakabeka Falls and at Patterson Park on the south side of the city. Look for the visitor information signs. You may want to see Thunder Bay from a comfortable Bayway motor coach while you enjoy a guided tour. There are many area tour packages to choose from. These tours depart from the tourist information centers and some hotels and may be arranged by appointment. Or you can explore Thunder Bay on your own and let the city surprise you. On the south side of Thunder Bay is the distinctive Mount McKay. An easy drive up to the observation area will give you an unforgettable view of the city and harbor. Near Mount McKay and on the shore of Lake Superior is Chippewa Park. Here you can go for a refreshing swim off the sandy beach, treat the kids to a mini carnival, or visit the wild animals located here at the zoo. In the center of Thunder Bay's south side is the International Friendship Gardens. 
These gardens reflect the diverse ethnic mosaic of our cultural heritage. Monuments erected here honor the many different cultures. Each year, the Thunder Bay Multicultural Association hosts the Folklore Festival, which is a must to experience. A short drive will take you to the tropical paradise in the Thunder Bay Conservatory. You'll be surrounded by lush palm trees, hibiscus blossoms, cacti, and clear trickling streams. The Conservatory is next door to the Northwestern Ontario Sports Hall of Fame, which is a tribute to the hundreds of outstanding accomplishments by our athletes. For another breathtaking view of the city, visit Hillcrest Park in the center of Thunder Bay's north side. You'll have a great view of the city, the waterfront, and the best view of a famous Thunder Bay landmark, the Sleeping Giant. Although part of a provincial park, legend has it that the Sleeping Giant was once the great spirit Nana Bijou. He was supposed to guard the secret of a silver mine, but when the mine was discovered, Nana Bijou was turned to stone. A short stroll from the lookout at Hillcrest Park is the beautiful sunken gardens filled each year with a sweet and colorful display of summer flowers, a treat to the senses. Down the hill is Waverly Park. During the summer, this park comes alive with free entertainment for your viewing pleasure. A five minute drive from the north sides downtown is a little bit of heaven called Boulevard Lake. It's perfect for the whole family. Whether you'd like to do some swimming, canoeing, sailing, or just relaxing in the sun. At one end of the lake is Current River Dam, where rushing water spills down the rocky slope into Lake Superior. Above Boulevard Lake are the Bluffs and Black Bay Bridge, the first concrete bridge ever constructed in Canada. Centennial Park is on the far north side of Thunder Bay. In addition to lush parkland beside a rushing river, the park offers a glimpse of how logging was done at the turn of the century. The kids will enjoy the old time farm and the whole family can sit down to a lumberjack style meal prepared in the cookhouse. Thunder Bay is rich in natural beauty. But we've been here for a long time. And for over 200 years, a lot of interesting people have contributed to our history. You can see that history at the Thunder Bay Museum, located downtown Thunder Bay South, next to City Hall. You'll learn about gold and silver mining in the region. There are collections on military and naval history. The outskirts of Thunder Bay hold two historical gems, the Papunge Museum and the Heimers Museum. Papunge is located off Highway 1117 here. At Papunge, you'll see a wonderful display of artifacts from pioneer life in Canada. Heimers is 40 kilometers from downtown South Thunder Bay off Highway 1117. At Heimers, a turn of the century village comes to life. Just north of Thunder Bay is a part of the Trans-Canada Highway renamed the Terry Fox Courage Highway. Along this stretch of road hugging the shore of Lake Superior is a monument to that courageous young Canadian and his marathon of hope. This monument was placed close to the spot where Terry Fox was forced to end his journey. Continuing east of Thunder Bay on Highway 1117 
you'll reach Amethyst Mines. Plan a day trip to the mines where you and the family can spend the day mining some of Ontario's gemstone for yourself. You'll find lots of shops in Thunder Bay specializing in this beautiful gemstone. Thunder Bay is surrounded by nature's gems. We Met Canyon, located 65 kilometers east of Thunder Bay, provides a spectacular view of a natural phenomenon. In the opposite direction, located 16 miles west of Thunder Bay, Kakabeka Falls area offers the beauty of a 40 meter waterfall combined with a picnic area, camp area, and favored swimming spot. Provincial campgrounds are located amid breathtaking scenery minutes from the city. Or should you choose to leave it all behind, you can enjoy the wilderness in unspoiled territory. You can plan a day trip to include hiking, canoeing, or sampling some of our famous lakes for trout, bass, pickerel, or salmon. For information on fishing charters on Lake Superior, particularly for salmon, contact any visitor information center. Within the city, our recreational facilities are geared for every sports enthusiast. We have seven quality golf courses, 34 public tennis courts, a tennis club, indoor and outdoor swimming pools, bowling centers, racquetball clubs, and roller rinks. A complete fitness facility is located at the Canada Games Complex. The complex is on the north side of town and was constructed for the 1981 Canada Summer Games. Whether you're amateur or professional league, Thunder Bay abounds with competitive athletic opportunities. If your holiday brings you to Thunder Bay during the winter, we have miles and miles of cross-country ski trails to take you through untouched wilderness right next door to the city. Some of the finest skiing in the world is only minutes from town, and Thunder Bay boasts two world-class 70 and 90 meter jumps, not for the weak of heart. Thunder Bay plays host to world-class competitions and is home of the World Cup in jumping and many other world-class awards. The arts in Thunder Bay are alive with excitement. A rich collection of art is found at the Thunder Bay Art Gallery on the campus of Confederation College. The gallery has a unique collection of contemporary Indian art from all across Canada. The exhibits change constantly and include not only Indian art, but touring exhibits from other major galleries and work by regional artists. Located just off Memorial Avenue is our community auditorium which hosts many international stars who perform in this world-class theater. The auditorium is also home to Thunder Bay's own symphony orchestra. Thunder Bay has gained a national reputation for its outstanding success in contemporary drama. In the summer, moonlight melodrama continues the light-hearted tradition of over-dramatized fun. And during the rest of the year, Magnus Theater, Cam Theater, and the Cambrian Players delight audiences with their innovative theater programs. Should you choose, you can take in a show at one of our many cinemas, or you can dance all night long and enjoy great music and entertainment in many of our nightclubs that offer you everything from rock to classical and country entertainers. Opportunities abound for shopping here. You can select to shop in either downtown north or south or one of the many malls in the city. 
You can choose shopping centers, department stores, or specialty boutiques. And you'll find everything from local designer fashions to unique souvenirs. Dining becomes an art form in this diverse city that offers traditional ethnic meals, fast food, or the finest cuisine prepared by chefs from around the world. However you spend your days and nights in Thunder Bay, we encourage you to explore this superb city nestled in the arms of the mighty Lake Superior. <laughs>